Hey guys, Tarun here. So in this video, we're going to talk about the basic syntax of the ECMAScript 6 or the JavaScript. So what do you mean by syntax? If you're new to programming, then syntax just defines the set of rules which you need in order to write meaningful program or error-free program. And every language has its own uh, set of rules to write the same. But most of the programming languages are similar but vary in very few aspects. So JavaScript also varies in few of the aspects from other programming languages. Um, with that being said, there are a lot of variables, literals, operators, and keywords, and modules, identifiers, comments to be discussed in JavaScript. In this video, we're gonna start off with some basic rules you need to know before using JavaScript. So the first one would be that JavaScript actually ignores spaces. If you're the person who has used Python, you need that you know that Python actually uses the indentation as a structure in the program. But JavaScript is not like that. We use braces here and it's kind of different from Python. It actually ignores the spaces, tabs, and new lines that appear in the program. You can actually use spaces, tabs, new lines freely in your program. And moreover, I also have this extension called Prettier Code Formatter over here. And it actually formats my HTML, CSS, JavaScript code when I, as soon as I save them. So you could also install the same if you want that to happen. So with that being said, JavaScript is also case sensitive, which means a capital L E T would be different from a small L E T. Okay. And happy news. Semicolons are absolutely optional in JavaScript. You can use semicolons. It would throw any uh, error or something, but semicolons are optional. You need not use them. And example, let's just uh, type console dot log and a message okay and save it again to save it you save it with the extension of dot js and we have the semicolon also there I just want to demonstrate with the semicolon and what you want to do is go to view and hit the integrated terminal you get the integrated terminal as soon as we hit the integrated terminal option. So what does this integrated terminal mean? Visual Studio Code has an inbuilt feature called integrated terminal, which opens up the terminal on uh, hitting that. Otherwise, if you're using a different um, uh, code editor, you could also uh, go to that particular folder and right click and open the command prompt there or you could open another command prompt and navigate to that folder everything is the same but VS, VS code uh, comes with this inbuilt again you may not uh, see the same uh, kind of structure here because I have integrated git bash with uh, Visual Studio code but you may not have done that and your Visual Studio code could have the command prompt with it it doesn't make any difference as of now and when it does I, I will make a tutorial on that but for now how do you run this JavaScript file you run that by using node node okay and by mentioning the name of the file js1 you may give the extension .js or you may just run it like that itself and now I hit the enter button I get hello all. So what is this console.log? It just means that log this message onto the console. If I use this code linked to a website and when I run the website along with this code, it would not show on that website and it is going to show on the console of that website. Again, where is the console in a Chrome browser? We will look and talk about that later. If you did not get this console.log, then totally forget about it because this video is not about console.log, it is about the basic syntax of JavaScript. Again, I told you that JavaScript uh, has its own set of rules. 
So we're going to continue on with the comments in JavaScript. So to comment a code, we are going to use the two forward slashes and it's going to comment that code. In case you want to do a block comment, for example, we we'll have a variable here var and if I run node.js1, it's going to give the same output. So then if I want to comment these both, I need not use two separate uh, single line comments. I could directly use a multi line comment like this. Okay, that's going to comment those both. So what do you mean by commenting? If you do not know, it will not get considered in the actual execution of the program. For example, if I run the node.js1, I'm not going to get any of the output because uh, basically everything is commented here. So don't worry about the variable which we have used here. We are going to talk about that in the next video. So these are the basic uh, syntax you need to know in JavaScript. And in the next video, we're going to follow on this tutorial with uh, some of the other topics which you need to know.